Today I'm going to be reviewing Arctic Air as seen on TV. Feel free uh, near the end of the video uh, if you would like to know how to power the Arctic Air with no outlets or laptop or computer if you're out in the field. So if you'd like to know how to do that, feel free to stick to near the end of the video and I will show you how you can do it. Alrighty, so without further ado, this is the box. Arctic Air is packaged in. You can see the front of the box here. And uh, this is what the box looks like. Alright, so the Arctic Air can be powered by wall outlets or USB ports, so you can plug it into a wall outlet uh, via the AC adapter, and uh, you can also plug it into your laptop as well, or desktop computer, and by the way, if you would like to know, as I mentioned, how to power the Arctic Air, stay tuned near the end of the video, and I will tell you how you can do that. Alright, so here is the Arctic Air uh, unit itself. On the side here, we have the water tank where you fill it up at. You have your power button. You have the fan control. You have your three LEDs for the three types of uh, air speed that you can put the fan at. And um, also, you have your LED so you can change the uh, color where it's on the side of where the water tank is. And um, to, uh, to access the uh, filter, there's that pin right here that you have to lift up and pull uh, towards you. And uh, this will allow you to access the filter. I believe you can wash this under a sink and stuff, but you definitely don't want to try to take this out while there is water in that tank. You, you might be able to with the water being in there, but I would recommend you probably don't do that. Uh, but yeah, that's this is the filter here that allows it to uh, keep from getting clogged up if there's dust blowing around and stuff. And that's how you access the filter there. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the water tank where you fill the uh, water at to keep the cold air going through. So this here is where you would pour your water at. And you definitely want to make sure that you keep it uh, somewhat full so that it can keep blowing the cool air uh, using that cold water. All right, so taking a look at this side, you can see the water level. This is how you can know how much water is left in your uh, water tank, as well as where the LED is. Uh, turning the Arctic air around, you can see the back where the fan um, takes the air in the room and blows it towards the front where you'll be getting the cold air from. Down here at the bottom is where your micro USB would plug into, which is on the uh, right hand side of this video. You can see the AC adapter there, as well as the USB port that plugs into that AC adapter. And on the other side of that cable is your micro USB port. And if you guys would like to know how to power the Arctic Air uh, without a, a wall uh, AC adapter, you can use the um, USB cable there to power it via a battery pack. So if you guys would like to see that, feel free to stick around to the end of the video there and I'll show you how to do that. So um, you can see there that's the USB cable that you can pull out of that um, Arctic Air uh, AC adapter. Um, feel free to take the time to pause this. I'm not going to leave it up too long, but this is um, the voltage that you need should you lose your... Um, AC adapter there for the wall uh, so you might want to take note of this in case you need a replacement and uh, we're going to move along now alright so here is the micro USB and, and that basically plugs in right down here at the bottom left and I'll go ahead and show you how to do that but you want to make sure that you have the pin side as you can see the way I have it there you want to make sure that you have it just like this when you want to plug it into the Arctic Air that's basically how you get it into the uh, the power port of the uh, Arctic Air. All right, so I have the Arctic Air plugged in. Going to turn it around so that it faces me. And this is the side with the filter so that the air blows at you to keep you cool. And on the top here is the power button. So if you press it down, the LED will show blue that it's on. And then as you can see there, I have the three LEDs, which the three LEDs indicates that that is the max setting that 
the Arctic Air can perform it. And that was nice enough to uh, record audio of me uh, having Arctic Air on. But I was also nice enough to rant as well. So I didn't add in the audio of what it sounds like. So I do apologize for that. Uh, but I will go ahead and mention that it is kind of loud, especially if you have, if you have a sensitive microphone. Um, so you might want to take note of that. It does sound like a computer fan blowing. Um, so yeah, you might want to take that into mind that if you're doing like recording audio like I am right now, or you're talking to somebody on the phone, um, they possibly will hear it if the, if the microphone is, is, uh, sensitive. All right. So as I mentioned, I was going to show you guys how to power Arctic air without a, uh, laptop or a wall outlet so this here is the slash drawn power tank it's one of the batteries that i'll show you that i recommend and that i personally tried that i can vouch will uh will work so you have the two usb ports on the um slash drawn power tank by the way this thing will run you about 80 dollars at the most uh, there's two different ones there's a bigger one and whatnot uh, it's great to have it's got a big flood light it's got a red light on it so if you're doing stuff at night and all that stuff that's what it is uh, you got two cigarette ports to, to power anything that requires cigarette ports. You got your fuse. You also have your on, off, and charge button. So if you want to charge it, you have to switch it to the charge button. Um, and to turn it on, you obviously hit the turn on uh, the on button and stuff. Um, the next one here is the anchor battery pack. And um, this one will run you roughly um, like maybe the max of like 50 bucks, depending on where you buy it at. Uh, I have links to both of these two in the description if you would like to purchase uh, either one of them. Um, but yes, these are the two battery packs that I recommend and that I have tested to work and I'll show you them working as well um, with the Arctic Air. Um, but yes, these are two that I recommend. Check the description below if you would like to, uh, to purchase either one of them. Um, this is the side that you would plug into the battery packs. So whichever one you want to plug it in, for example, there's two up there. You will want to plug it into one of them up there. And it is very important that you face it the right way because these is, this is they want to call this the million way that you could, you could possibly go wrong whenever you plug in these USB ports and whatnot into your uh, adapters and all that stuff and in your computer. So, yes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you that there's this one here. The anchor has two ports, uh, two USB ports and stuff. Uh, the smaller one uh, on the right hand side there is how you charge the anchor battery pack. I'm not gonna go on to a whole rant on that, but it's how you do it. So you would plug in the um, the USB cable and in, into um, either one of the battery packs, and then um, you want to make sure that these are charged. And by the way, this Anchor battery pack only has two uh, cells left on it because I haven't charged it. So, yeah, you want to make sure you fully charge these, and these, this Anchor battery pack might last you for lucky, maybe an hour. But anyways, I'm going to power it on and um, let you guys see uh, the Arctic Air uh, powered on. As you can see there, it's powered on. And it is up and running. And like I said, I didn't record audio of it turning on and all that stuff because the whole time I was had it on, it, I was ranting. So I figured you wouldn't be able to hear it. And also um, the audio for that as well um, was with my cell phone camera, which is why the, the video quality looks rubbish for. So... You can see that it's up and running. Uh, it's got the LEDs on for Arctic Air, as well as you can see that uh, the Anchor battery pack there has two cells left, which means I need to charge that pretty soon. Otherwise, I'm going to have it, and I'm going to go to use it, and it's not going to last long to charge something. Uh, but, yes, this one will power Arctic Air for you. So if you're out someplace, you know, and you would like to use it without having to have a laptop, or a um you know a, a wall outlet other thing i want to mention is is if your car um has a usb port in it hey you can power it through your car i know some new cars and stuff they have those things as well as you plug it in 
Also, you can see that these are different LEDs that you can use. Uh, that you can you can set it to so that you can see the LEDs and stuff that I was showing you there, which is with that LED button that I was showing you near the uh, beginning of the video and stuff. But as you can see, this is the cable plugged into Arctic Air, and it's running from the um, the battery pack there to the back of Arctic Air there, which is what's supplying power to Arctic Air. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, hooking it up to the Celestron power tank. All right, so now I'm going to hook it up to the Celestron power tank to let you guys see uh, Arctic Air running off the Celestron power tank. So all you need to do is take that USB in and plug it into the USB port, either one of them on the Celestron power tank there. And then uh, what you'll want to do, which I'll show you, there's the uh, Arctic Air plugged into the Celestron power tank. It doesn't matter which one of the ports you plug it into. Either one of them will supply power for you to power Arctic Air. Now, um, on the top right there, you can see the on-off switch as well as the charge. You need to set that to the on uh, position so that it's powering on the battery and as you can see there i have uh it's ready to use which is good but it says it needs to be charged you'll see the next one and when it's charging it'll have that and all that stuff when it's fully charged it'll show the top led as well and uh that's how you'll know that the celestron power tank is is uh ready to be used and uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on arctic air here and uh, show you Arctic Air um, running off the power tank. As you can see there, Arctic Air is running off the power tank. And as I mentioned, you know, I uh, I didn't record audio for it running and stuff, so you can hear loud it is. And I do apologize for that. Unfortunately, that I didn't record the the audio for the um, Arctic Air. But it, like I mentioned, it's kind of loud. Um, definitely, if you have a sensitive microphone. Uh, for a headset or, or a recording studio or something like that, um, it's possible that they will hear it and stuff. Um, the air is kind of nice. Um, it, it's not super strong of a of an airflow and stuff. Um, you probably could feel it maybe from like a arms an arm's length, um, and all that stuff. But um, I mean, if it comes, if it's it's great in a way, um, would I recommend it? Uh, I mean, I can't really say that. I mean, you know, with me, I can't really say that I, I would recommend it. But don't let my opinion, you know, uh, you know, keep you from buying it. You know, I mean, you should buy it. Or if you feel that you need to buy it, try it yourself. Um, that being said, that's that's pretty much the video, and um, hopefully, you know, it's it's helped you decide in a way, and this wasn't a waste of your time. Um, so, anyways, I do appreciate you guys watching. If you would like to purchase either one of the battery packs that I uh, was using, feel free to check the description. If you guys have any questions for me, uh, feel free to post them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. I don't know too much about arctic air and stuff but uh if you want to know something that i might know about it and stuff um yeah you can feel free to leave them in the comments below check out the description of the video again for the links to amazon uh for either one of these battery packs if you would want them thanks for watching guys i hope you guys have a great day feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys would like to subscribe for a bunch of crazy videos that i do sometimes thanks again for watching